guys welcome back to my vlog so today i'm going to be talking about killer whales and like in killer whales in captivity and i'm just completely against it and i i just think that it's so wrong that killer whales should be forced into a place even with dolphins and all that like i completely like i'm so against it so i'm going to talk about that and i have like some articles and stuff i screenshotted and I'll be like popping them all through the video and stuff. And um, look. Where's my little kitty? <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so I wanted to talk about captivity and that, like, it's just. I hate that killer whales have to go through this and dolphins. And like, I know, like, it's the trainers that are like doing tricks with them. And yes, some trainers probably know that it's bad and everything, but I feel like it's not their fault. It, it, they're not to blame for, in my opinion. Um. Yeah, I just think that the owners of the place, of the captivity, they should be blamed because they're the one that's running the business. They know everything that happens behind. They're the one telling these trainers lies and all these other stuff. And the trainers don't actually know it. So there's this guy called John Hargrove. He wrote his own book on the whole Killer Wells. I want to buy it. It's only like eight euro on like the Kindle website thing that you can just download on your phone or whatever. Um, but I really want to read it because it just looks so interesting. It, he talks about like his experience. He was an ex trainer, and he talks about his experience. And being a trainer and what was behind the scenes and oh it just looks so interesting you can get like a little sample of it on the kindle for free not an actual kindle but the app yeah and so it looks really interesting and i really want to read it so his name is john harger but he there was this killer whale called tilicum and he <sighs> it's such a long story I literally could go on for ages and I will so there's this guy called Tilikum not this guy he's a killer whale I don't even want to get out okay so basically they have this documentary that you can actually watch I watched it on Showbox this app you can get from Google and like stuff but anyways you can watch it on there and I watched it. I've watched. I've watched it, and then I like. I like forward back on clips to see like what's going on. I see it in slow motion. You know, I literally am so interested, and in I have done so much information and what's going on about it. I literally went on a whole week, week and a half or something of just watching color well videos and yeah. Okay, I'm a little bit obsessed. I literally just found it on YouTube, and I was like, this is interesting. And then once I found that video, I was like, I want to keep going, um, but. Um, so this guy, this killer whale they catched, um, he was really big when he was born. He was really big. I, I can't remember because it was a while ago when I researched this, but he was really big when he was born and he was like a, a giant baby and the, yeah, he wasn't supposed to be this big and they captured him anyways, obviously money wise. You know, so they could have him for money. But basically, they took him and he ended up growing really big. Oh, he was like... They thought that they were putting him in a safe environment, that he wouldn't be showing tricks because he killed someone, but that wasn't happening. So they brought him to SeaWorld and they ended up doing tricks with him. It's like 10 years later. They're still having fun. And this other trainer ends up dying her name I'll have like I, I have like the picture here anyways she ended up dying and oh I've watched videos of her researched her she's she's amazing it was terrible how she died so she died by telecom pretty horrific um she got dragged down by her ponytail first they uh, no no first they thought it was their pony her ponytail and they were blaming her and then they said it was her arm. They dragged her arm and they blamed her. But to be honest, it wasn't neither of their faults because 
Having a killer whale in captivity is going to drive them absolutely insane. It's like you being stuck in a bathtub for the rest of your life. Not very exciting. Or in a wardrobe or any small space that you can think of. Just being stuck there for the rest of your life is pretty horrific. And that's what the killer whale was going through. The tank was big, but to them it's like very small. They're very big animals. And at night time they're like squished in this little small container. All of them just squished together. And so they'd wake up in the morning and they'd be like scratches and bite marks on them. That's what John Hargrove was saying. He was explaining that there was bites on them and everything. And they would hit themselves against the, gla against the glass and they'd get all these cuts and everything. And sometimes they'd be bleeding. And Oh, anyways, Tillicum. He died in 2017, which was heartbreaking. But he... What he went through. He only had two years of his life when he was a baby was freedom and the rest of his entire life was in a cage you know and he died being in a cage and I just think that is horrible you know even after he killed all those people he still ended up being in that cage and that's terrible for the animal you know her name is Dawn and she was so nice. She was like 40. She could have been like 40. Yeah, I think she was like 40. And she got dragged down. Um, And they kept... And the weird part was is they kept going on with the shows and everything. And actually before this death of Dawn, before that, um, this criminal guy snuck into the killer whale. And he wanted to experience swimming with killer whales. Weird, am I right? Yes. He wanted to experience swimming with them and so he gets in one of the tanks and he got in and John Hargrove said, he said in the documentary saying that he got in the wrong one. He shouldn't have gone in that one. And so Tillicum killed him. Yeah, they, they, John Hargrove was saying that like, it's impossible how he got through the guy that, because there were so many security guards and there's cameras everywhere. There's even water, uh, underwater cameras and everything and that. There was everything and they didn't even spot the guy and they found the body in the morning. They saw Tillicum dragging a body across the water. And like, I think that's really weird. And they didn't even hear screams or anything. That's what John Hargrove was saying. And all. I completely agree. Like this, that's weird. That's so fishy. Like that they, I don't know what goes on with that business. SeaWorld is fishy. But I'm glad that in Ireland that we don't have those aquariums things. You know, we only have zoos or like fish aquarium things you go to see fish or something and tanks little, you know that you go see them but like an animal doing a trick I feel like that's just bullying you know it's like bullying a little child or something you know and also they take the babies away from their mothers at like two years of age and one of the guys in it when they took Tilikum there was, he didn't actually realize and he actually cried when he took Tilikum but he still began on his job and he was saying like, it's like, I literally said this before he said it. I was like, it's like taking a baby away from a, a, a it's like kidnapping a, like a child away from its mother. And that's exactly what he said. And it's completely true. It's like taking a, a kidnapping a child from its mother. Because that, that mother never sees that baby again. And that baby grows up in captivity for the rest of its life. And they've said that in... The wild, they uh, the males live up to like 60 years, females lived up to 100 years, and in captivity they live up to like 30 years, 30, 40 years, uh, male and female, and so it's a really short span, and the trainers were told that they live like that in the wild as well. So they were lied to saying that they lived to 30 years or 40 years in the wild too, so it wasn't any difference, but then they found out later on that... It was a complete difference in that they lied to them and it was all fake. And anyways, now because that all happened with SeaWorld and everything, uh, doing tricks with killer whales is illegal. They still do it with dolphins though. SeaWorld still has dolphins, um, which I'm totally against as well. I was watching videos on that and it's just disgraceful because there's cuts on them and there's just... Yeah. So... I think that every trick aquarium place that sh should be shut down they still actually have killer whales in captivity as well but they just don't do tricks with them they just leave them there but apparently sea world are trying to fix that or something that's what the trainers were saying in the video i don't know 
But, um, yeah, so it's like, I just have such a strong argument on it. So Tilikum, he killed that guy in the sea, in the water. So that was the second guy. And then the third guy was, the third one was Dawn. And they actually kept doing tricks with him, except they did, they didn't let the human go on the killer whale. They kept, they had like a barrier in between, but they still did tricks and told them to do this and that, but they just didn't go on them, which was a great improvement, but still. And uh, that was really horrific for people. Um, yeah, and, um... And uh, when you're on a killer whale, obviously you're going to get like really injured or something. And the one of the ex John Hargrove, he said he got injured multiple times. Uh, he said he like broke his back. He like broke his ankle. He could, he got many. And they even have some videos of the injuries in the video, in the documentary as well. But um, I can show you a video like there or something somewhere along the screen of one of the attacks that happened. That video. When I saw the video of the killer whale landing on John, I mean, it just absolutely took my breath away. I gasped. You know, the, I watched it two or three times, and every time I saw that, I just gasped. I could not believe what I was seeing. What kept his body together is that, you know, his, his wetsuit basically held him together. But I know he's had multiple surgeries, and he's got tons of hardware in his body. Yeah, so, like, it's pretty, it's pretty horrific. I just, I feel so bad for Telecom. And the other whales, they had like 20 whales, 20 killer whales, I think. And none of them went out to sea. You know Free Willy the movie, if you know that movie, they actually freed the, the whale, but the whale was so, he was so close to the humans that he wasn't used to going out. So he survived five years out in the wild. And he eventually came back to where they, um, they kept an eye on him, like, now and again, but they were just doing a little experiment or something to see how they would, but he, he, he had happiness for five years, but he eventually came back, and he came back to the spot where he got released, and he died, not shortly after that, but I just think that it was so hard for that whale you know to but uh, you know like in in the end he got five years but i'd love to see killer whales i've always thought it'd be amazing if i saw killer whales doing tricks and then when i looked at all this i'm horrified by it all you know sorry my, my mom and my little sister home but i think it's like horrific now that I look at it, I used to think it'd be so cool if I ever went or worked there, became a trainer. Never gonna do that ever. It's like opposite opinion what I think now. Here, I want to show you my cat. <laughs> this is Daisy. She's my baby. She's four months old. I've had her for like six weeks. I adopted her. So four cats. One of my cats is currently sick at the moment. Not of old age, but we're treating her. So. But she's my baby. <laughs> I cried so much when I saw it. Sorry, I'm like. I'm like tearing up. Oh, kind of stuff. The telecom, he lived, I think he lived till he was like, he lived a long time, 50, I think. He was like, oh, also he was the oldest and he was the biggest whale they had there. So, crazy. And those people were brave to keep, and they kept going. When those people got injured or whatever, they kept going. I'm petting, I'm petting Daisy. She's so cute. Anyways, here, let me show you. She's adorable. She's on my little sister's bed right now. Oh, she nearly nipped me. Did you see that? Oh, you little nipper. Anyways, I think that's like 
all I wanted to say about Tilikum and captivity and that I feel really strongly that I hate it so much that these animals go through these kind of torture. I hate that any animals and it makes me really upset and angry that I'm sitting here with my beautiful kitty Daisy and she's being tra treated like an absolute angel and a royal princess, isn't that right? But knowing that other animals, cats, dogs, any, any, any animal being tortured. I try to treat all my animals equally. You know, they're all as important. I'm gonna say hi. <laughs> they're all as important and I just think that no, no animal should go through that kind of torture. No one should go through that kind of torture. Um, oh, sorry about my wall, by the way. I'm like obsessed with Logan Paul. You probably don't like him, but I don't know if you do. I'm not saying if you don't. Yeah. Well, you might not even know who he is, but most of that is. And then like I like horses. I love horses as well. Yeah. So that was all I wanted to talk about. I know. So my next video is going to be on Saturday because I'm starting school on Thursday, which really sucks. So I'll tell you when I'm uploading. So I'm going to be uploading every Saturday. That's this day's when I go back to school, I'm going to be uploading every Saturday. You're lucky you're getting it uploaded all, I'm just saying, because I'm going to be so busy. I have my last year in school, in high school, so it's going to be like real busy and work hard and, you know. So I'll be, um, I video on Fridays and edit on Fridays and then I upload on Saturday. So yeah, you guys, and um, this is one of my subscribers is actually... Uh, giving me challenges which is really really cool so yeah you can guys can follow me on my instagram and give me any ideas or any videos that you want me to do you can follow me on there and i'll do polls and stuff and you can answer or i'll put like a question q a question thing that you can do i'd love to do a q a but i feel like there's not a lot of people that can comment but i'd love more and i love all my subscribers, I love 67 one, all of you, 67 of you, and um, yeah, and I feel like I should do a video where I look back, because I've been looking back at my old videos, and it's so crazy looking at them, and like, I just look so different, and the way, like, like it's actually quite funny, the way I'm saying some stuff, but, um, I was thinking I should react to, like, my first video, or my third video or whatever one of my old videos from two years ago i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope it wasn't too boring <laughs> because it can be boring some videos i have to like pour it on like halfway through it if you want to see any of the videos of daisy you know because she's freaking adorable i'll put her instagram down below actually i have her uh she has her own instagram so yeah and like subscribe and press the notifications button you can share if you want to I'll, I'll just keep saying that but like that was ever gonna share this but share to your friends about my youtube channel i i'd love the support and more support i get the more i'll upload uh frequently and so yeah every saturday i'm uploading okay bye get one photo to look Hi. better oh my God, but all on the